Okay, so we're on uh, Father's Day weekend. I hope all the dads and all the, I guess, uh, masculine influences on young children's lives are doing great and uh, helping them be better people for the future. Uh, mine's not so good, unable to get my son, which probably due to my own fault. So we're gonna make this into a very positive thing. I really dislike all the hatred and anger that people have towards the personal lives influence your emotions every day and it is up to you to convert them or rebuild them to something positive that you can put in the world that can continue my favorite thing is morgan freeman stated uh, one random act of kindness which i think is a very good spark a very good uh, way to try to perceive things it's not going to ignore and stop everything but definitely adjust an attitude and move forward in a better manner, a more restructured manner, can probably make the minor influences that can make a lot more things become better, which is a greater output than verbally just saying stuff. So on that note, I do have a good beer that kind of changes the pace, and some people might argue against it or be for it. So that's the whole point of this whole thing, you know? Having our differences is our uniqueness and we should be allowed to have them without overstepping on other people's stuff because we all do need to coexist on this wonderful planet Earth. So with that deep message, we pick it up a little more. So Carbach, oh, even though Anheuser and Bush got their hands on it, I don't know if it made it better or worse. You got this little IPA, but surprisingly at 20 IBUs, is the crazy part. Uh, it's labeled as ale, obviously. And it's 6% alcohol by volume. It's a light circuit, so I did have it. So body's lighter, but it's still a hazy. It's citrusy, but very, uh, not overwhelming. You got uh, jackfruit, pineapple, little grapefruit, orange, like a whole array, like a circus of flavor just going on in your taste buds. And so people are gonna be indifferent about it, but for people that haven't had IPAs, this is definitely a way to get into the IPA without being attacked by bitter. So you can really understand what people are getting from it. And some people that really can enjoy the bitters, uh, they might miss it. But it's vibrant, uh, it's enjoyable, and you can definitely get your friends in on this and help them on the journey as they go to IPAs and pale ales. It's very hard for some people. You do have super tasters. All it means is they're very susceptible to bitter flavors and they usually don't like things like broccoli and stuff like that like they're hypersensitive they can smell it sometimes and it tastes on their taste buds so don't force them if that's where they're at okay but everybody else you should be able to get along this ride so got the eighth wonder haterade glass they're pretty well one fact about eighth wonder is they do just use Houston tap water once some people know that you can really really under like taste Houston in it, which is kind of what they want, but for beer, like root, true core beer advocates, it's like blah. So, well, it's to each their own. So let's see this beautiful hazy. Give it a little, we'll try and give you a good view. All right, so you can definitely start seeing the haze. Oh, that's a nice one. All right, all right, all right. Uh oh, a little above. I almost had it. <laughs> So even from here, I'm already getting a little bit of the aromas. My girlfriend smelled it and it, it doesn't seem too appealing and to some it might seem intimidating. It's really not. As you get closer, yeah, you get a very tinge of the like funkiness, I say, almost like Chardonnay buttery. And then it seems like, like just oranges that don't have too much flavor going on. But then you drink it, and it just start opening up boom 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 and it's not to me i don't taste really a bitter that's hindering i just get this beautiful roll of flavor that goes all the way down and then it just sits there my taste buds are not getting bored of it i'm not stopping the, the flavor's not stopping it's just nice right there on the tongue and it sits there and to me that's very enjoyable i it's it's very in there in like uh was interactive in a way because you can sit there and just keep trying to find a different flavor so i am kind of impressed 
because it's focused just on the hazy part. But definitely, it's very minimal bitter, 20 IBUs. So this would be a hot day IPA. That's what I would say. Enjoy with some uh, non-spicy solid food. Uh, maybe a couple of uh, snacks or just chilling on the porch. So that's what I got to say about it. Hopefully you like it. Um, Super Hop Heads, this probably might not be the beer for you. That's just how it is. So it's pretty decent, surprising, uh, but definitely hopefully this can help people get into IPAs. And this is a solid review if you actually take the step forward. Get into the hops. All right, Carbach, there you go. Uh, everyone do enjoy your weekend. Be safe and take the time to make the days better. Hopefully you enjoy it with a beer.